Hello dear learners today we are going to discuss the MCQs from pharmaceutical chemistry from the chapter antibiotics as we all know antibiotics are the substances which are derived from certain species of microorganism and they can be synthetic analogs also having the property to inhibit the growth of microorganisms or either destroying them so first question from the antibiotics is penicillin g is also known as now according to the classification antibiotics are classified into three types first is chemical classification then it is based on the mechanism of action then it is based on the spectrum that uh, whether they are broad spectrum whether they are narrow spectrum whether uh, they are classified chemically means chemically if you will see what are the classes the different classes such as penicillin cephalosporins polyene polypeptide etc so penicillin g is from the beta lactam antibiotic class and it is the very first uh, member of the penicillin class penicillin g which is known as benzyl penicillin now why benzyl penicillin because if you will look into the structure of beta lactam antibiotics in the structure of penicillin you will find what this r is shown over here the basic structure contains it is beta lactam ring the four membered ring which you can see is the beta lactam ring and this five membered ring which you can see is um, thiazolidine ring uh, sulfur and nitrogen aza and thia and various substituents are attached so now this uh, amide group is there nhco and this is r so depending on the r various penicillins are there now where as far as the benzyl penicillin is concerned in case of benzyl penicillin it will be c6h5ch2 and then this amide group so that is the reason it is also known as benzyl penicillin then the next member from the beta lactam antibiotic penicillin class is penicillin v now in case of penicillin v that is which is also known as phenoxymethyl penicillin now why it is also known as phenoxymethyl penicillin so as in case of benzyl penicillin it was c6h5ch2 and amide so in case of penicillin v it is c6h5och2 that is phenoxy since o is there then methyl and penicillin so it is also known as phenoxy methyl penicillin then 6 phenoxy acetamide penicillinic acid is now here you can see phenoxy and acetamide that is ch2coh2 and phenoxy is c6h5o this r so just now we discussed that c6h5o ch2 is penicillin v so the correct answer is it is penicillin v that is phenoxymethyl penicillin next question is bacitracin comes under which category now bacitracin is one of the antibiotic and if you will uh, if you are going to see the classification there are various classes so uh, and beta lactam is the one which we have discussed polyene we have already covered in antifungal and other class is polypeptide antibiotic which covers dactinomycin capreomycin veomycin bacitracin etc so uh, this are antibiotics classes so it comes under the category antibiotic next question is root of administration of ampicillin is dash whether it is intradermal whether it is subcutaneous whether it is sublingual or intravenous so all antibiotics generally have their major group or major root of administration as intravenous root of administration Speci specifically penicillins next question is major side effect of tetracycline is dash whether it's nausea hypersensitivity hepatic toxicity or diarrhea hypersensitivity is also there but the hepatic toxicity is one of the major side effect of tetracycline next question is brand name of erythromycin is dash whether it's althrocin grisorol fp acromycin otocin the correct answer is it is althrocin 
erythromycin uh, which uh, which is nothing but a macrolid antibiotic you can call in case of macro macrolid antibiotic they interfere with the ribosomal protein synthesis and they act on the uh, microorganism that is bacteria and they have bacterio static action and the other brands of erythromycin are eltozin erythrozin emthrosin cathrox etc next question is basic structure of penicillin include now this is the basic structure uh, the main uh, main which is essential in the structure is this r can vary but this beta lactam which is four member ring and this is thiazolidin uh, thiazolidin the, which contains thia and aza these two features are really very important in case of beta lactam antibiotic and penicillin which is nothing but a beta lactam antibiotic so the correct answer is it is both of them beta lactam ring as well as thiazolidin ring next question is dash is a semi synthetic penicillin among this whether it's penicillin g whether it's penicillin v whether it's ampicillin or none of them the correct answer is ampicillin which is a semi synthetic penicillin next question is dash is a polypeptide antibiotic whether it's bacitracin dactinomycin capreomycin or all of them the polypeptide antibiotics we just now discussed are bacitracin then dactinomycin capreomycin veomycin etc so the correct answer is it is all of them next question is cephalothin is dash penicillin tetracycline cephalosporin kenamycin cephalothin is not a penicillin not belong to not belonging to tetracycline not even a kenamycin it is from the cephalosporins so the correct answer is it is cephalosporin next question is dash is a amino glycoside antibiotic now amino glycoside antibiotics is one of the class of antibiotic which includes streptomycin gentamicin neomycin kenamycin amikacin so amongst these the correct answer is it is kenamycin penicillin is beta lactam tetracycline is from the tetracycline class uh, that is dog citibaja ke monaco le ke t pine ke liye uti ja raha hai and then penicillin is again beta lactam antibiotic this cephalosporin is uh, buffalo ko thin hona hai so ride karna hai aur flexi lexi banna hai these are the uh, some of the tricks which you are supposed to um, remember uh, for the exact classification accurate classification so amino glycoside antibiotic is it is kenamycin others are streptomycin neomycin amikacin gentamicin etc next question is erythromycin is whether it's a macrolid antibiotic antifungal antiviral or none of them so according to the classification erythromycin is a macrolid antibiotic and other examples are azithromycin clarithromycin etc so correct answer is it is macrolid antibiotic next question is chloramphenicol is whether it's a narrow spectrum broad spectrum antifungal or none of them or none of them the correct answer is it is broad spectrum antibiotic according to the classification uh, the intermediate spectrum broad spectrum and uh, so the broad spectrum antibiotics are cephalosporin tetracycline chloramphenicol ciprofloxacin that is fluoroquinolones etc so the correct answer is it is broad spectrum antibiotic next question is bactericidal effect is shown by whether it is beta lactam antibiotic antifungal antiviral or none of them the correct answer is bactericidal effect is by beta lactam antibiotic beta lactam antibiotics such as penicillins act by interfering with the cell wall synthesis and since cell wall is the protective covering once the cell wall gets destructed again, then ultimately there is no chance of the survival of the bacteria so they are having cidal effect that is to kill next question is penicillin is degraded by dash whether it's degraded by enzyme mineral acids dilute acids or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them because enzymes penicillinase will degrade penicillin into penicilloic acid then 
mineral acids degrade penicillins into pen penaldic acid and penicillamine which penicillamine which will further give by the enzyme amidase acylase amidase or acylase will give you 6 apa that is 6 amino penicillinic acid and then penicillin in presence of dilute acids it will give penilic acid so the correct answer is it is all of them next question is brand names of ampicillin are dash campicillin ampilox unimax septran dolocrocin none of them the correct answer is it is campicillin ampilox next question is thiazolidin ring expanded to six membered ring is dash whether the five membered ring expanded to six membered ring it is there in cephalosporin ampicillin tetracycline or amikacin so it's in cephalosporin next question is dash inhibits bacterial cell wall synthesis so just now we seen that beta lactam antibiotics inhibit the cell wall synthesis and because of the cell wall synthesis is inhibited bacteria survival will uh, survival will not be there so the correct answer is it is penicillin but next option is it is cephalosporin so penicillins and cephalosporins combinedly form beta lactam antibiotics so the correct answer is it is both of them next question is brand names of tetracycline is dash campicillin ampilox hostacycline tetrasar tetrastar dolocrocin none of them the correct answer is it is hostacycline and tetrastar next question is dash is a bacteriostatic antibiotic so the macrolid antibiotic is a static antibiotic so the correct answer is it is erythromycin which is an macrolid antibiotic next question is protein synthesis inhibitor is dash now protein synthesis inhibitor amongst these so according to the mechanism of action uh, if you will protein synthesis inhibitor is the correct uh, whether it's ampi amikacin chloramphenicol ampicillin or tetracycline the correct answer is it is chloramphenicol which is from miscellaneous class next question is gray baby syndrome is shown by dash or the side effect is uh, side effect of dash whether it's of chloramphenicol ampicillin tetracycline or amikacin the correct answer is it is chloramphenicol chloramphenicol again it belongs to the miscellaneous class now gray baby syndrome is the characteristic side effect shown by the chloramphenicol which is nothing but it is as the name suggests gray baby it is gray colored skin means it is characterized by gray colored skin or blue colored skin hypothermia and which these all symptoms are due to the accumulation of chloramphenicol antibiotic in specifically in case of premature babies next question is metabolic pathway inhibitor is dash whether it's chloramphenicol ampicillin tetracycline or sulfamethoxazole the correct answer is it is sulfamethoxazole sulfonamides are metabolic pathway inhibitors folic acid synthesis inhibitors N with this we finish with few of the questions or mcqs from the antibiotic class thank you and i wish you all the uh, i wish all the students the very best luck for their mcq exams which is starting from the subject pharmaceutical chemistry to tomorrow thank you